Hey gang, <clears throat> so I was deliberating on what I wanted the topic for the first post of 2024, first video um, post of 2024 to be. And I came up with, cause there's so many things, uh, even just recollecting the 40 some posts I reposted that were the best of 2023. I couldn't uh, reduce it down cause there's so many messages that are so vital um, to me in my life and then me clinically and then um, my extension of my message here on <clears throat> these free platforms like social media. But uh, there was a comment the other day about one of my posts and it sparked this and then compounded to something else I've already touched upon, but I want to resurface it now. Um, where I said the healing is healing from a flu to a swelling of an ankle after you roll it to tendonitis to herniated disc to a tumor to skin burning off or a skin reaction healing is healing and then somebody made a comment uh where it's if we could only something around the serious nature some are more serious than others and i get what what he or she was saying but this is exactly why I'm talking about this way of life, because um, there is a way of life and then there is the infinite that you are within the way of life. But there is a way that we are supposed to live as human beings right now as to how we've evolved into the cells, tissues and organs and how we operate. Um, <clears throat> part of the rules I keep talking about. But take uh, stay in the injury world. So I've said it before, we always equate injury to being the level of torn tissue or ruptures or fractures or a herniated disc and it gets so bad we go get it checked out. Oh my God, they show us on an image it's a herniation or they, it gets so bad they show us and it's a fracture. It gets so bad they show us it's bone on bone arthritis in our fingers or wrists or knees or elbows or shoulders or whatever. Um, <clears throat> and what I said was, in previous uh, uh, deliveries was what I'm trying to get you to understand is your body will talk to you, not just when the big stuff happens like torn tissues or herniated discs, but prior to that so that it doesn't get to that level. Assuming you didn't fall off a building um, like my brother when he was two and a half or a car accident. Um, but these are just life life uh, engagements and your body will tell you so before the ruptures before the big stuff it'll warn you with chronic protection which might be tightness or um, limping of some kind to save you and, and offset forces coming into your body or uh, a position change or um, even a person have, who's hopped a creek thousands of times in their lives every morning walking their dog and one morning, come up to the creek and the body and brain go, no. And there's fear around that activity. Or there's fear around roller skating. And you once didn't have any fear around roller skating. There's fear around playing hockey in the men's club. Or there's fear around uh, sitting too long while you're doing art or composition or whatever. Um, so fear and apprehension around activities you could once do no problem past the chronic protection of tightness and rigidity, right? And then even before that, the body will predict injuries. And it, if you live a certain way, you will see things before they happen. Your body will let you know before they happen. Now, whether you act on that or not, it's completely up to you. But this is what I'm saying. If you treat those areas, those times, those uh, moments, those sensations as injury <clears throat> and how I approach injury, now you go ahead and you microscopically look or pan back and you look at your life. And you look at the things you can change because again your body only heals done period there are no exceptions to this not in children not in elderly not in special cases there are no exceptions the body only heals period so now what you can do is you go ahead and you look at your life and because it's responding to how you're living by giving you these sensations by giving you these things of fear and apprehension by giving you these predictions of injury by giving you these senses of protection with rigidity and and uh uh, tightness and chronic tightness or tingling or burning or whatever the scenario is or giving you this the um, final piece where it's ruptures and herniations and all these when you go into those moments early you 
don't have to experience the level that the body wants you to when it it will get to if you ignore it or trick it out with therapies and treatments this is why i'm so adamant <clears throat> on the elimination and and uh demolishing of all forms of medicine um especially in rehab and, and therapies of all kinds and treatments and adjustments and body work and all these other things that just get in the way because they are structured and set up to quiet some response of the body to fix some response of the body and this is what i'm talking about you're to listen to these responses and change so if we go in and treat all those as injury that's why anybody who's like ah, i don't have any injuries per se but i just have real real tightness in my low back that's been there forever tightness in my hips or um i can't walk as far as i used to but i don't have any injury and i always try to reframe the story and take it back to that is injury those are those are minor levels but it's your body telling you to make some massive changes or minor changes depending on the person but every single injury has a cause for that person and there's a solution for that person so why is a herniation any more serious than chronic tightness in the low back chronic tightness in the low back is the precursor to a herniation or ankle stiffness is a precursor to a herniation or no longer being able to do the things that you want to do is a precursor to the herniation so if we take those things just as serious as the herniation why is the herniation any any more serious well the symptoms are greater uh the pain's greater uh the effect on my life is greater but i bet if we went back in and, and you could remember in real time what it was like to not be able to do the things that you like to do or to have that stiffness that's unrelenting I guarantee you there's a level at that time that's the same. So there is no higher level of seriousness to a lower level of seriousness. There's just healing. And I know it's he or she was saying about it. It's take it over into the world of neurodegeneration or autoimmune or cancer or whatever. It's, whatever. <clears throat> the body will warm, will whisper before it yells. And just like water bubbles before it boils, right? Now, it's not to point fingers and be like, you're an idiot because you didn't listen to your body and it's now come to this. No, it doesn't matter where you start, when you start. It just matters that you start. And you have to start by acknowledging that it's not any more serious that you have lymph response or tumors in your spine or than if you had, you know, uh, bubble gut or chronic burping or diarrhea for like three or four years or constipation why is that any less serious but it's the world wrapped around the stories of those later stage healing responses that now we're terrified of to all end and think that we're just like walking around here waiting for these really bad things to happen within our body because we don't have any choice in the matter and at some point if you're a female and at some point if you're a male and at some point if you get past this age and at some point if you take this test and this test shows this and at some point you're going to have this thing where your body just totally freaks the frick out and will turn against you that's the stories that we're living on what have we spun those stories and terrified people of yeah, you know when you get like your hips are tight and they don't like don't release within like 30 seconds of you standing up or you can't sit without your legs numbing or you can't bend over to tie your shoes or you can't wipe yourself or take a shower or you have uh you've slowed in your recreational sport what if we went in like oh my god do you know what that is <laughs> and it's not to take it any less serious or more serious it's just to be real and honest and true around what the hell are those feelings for what are they involved with why are they there so there is no more serious or less serious there's just healing and we can talk about death and all these things but we're batting a thousand on death humans are really good at that <laughs> i know i'm attending a funeral this weekend so i'm going to be saturated in the celebration of life not the fear of um when we choose to leave but um so that's not a conversation that's not even a, a variable to bring in and this is not what this video is about but before you go there there's nobody that's missing out on that game uh, on that result so stop using it as a um a tactic to prove a point of see see 
there's a flaw in your story. There's a flaw in your logic. There's a flaw because this, 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 we, we choose to die, choose to leave. No, everybody does. <laughs> and it's more of a choosing than we lay out if you really, really go in and think about it. But again, this video is not about that. This video is about the serious nature of all levels of healing, not just the ones that we wait, 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 and then pay attention to at a later time where there's maybe more changes, there's more of a rigidity within the rules because we've allowed it to get to this way or because we've chosen a, a, a team of specialists who have done nothing but quieted uh, the body's response to your feeling of it, um, gotten in the way. Because again, the healing happens at light speed. That's another um, point to make here. It doesn't slow when you're older, or speed up when you're younger. It's just instantaneous. Just like, uh, I don't know if you guys have been scared and you feel that sensation like in the back of your sternum and it runs out down your spine, out through your musculature. Um, it's the amplification adrenaline and, and heightened uh, signals to muscles to fight, kick some ass or take off. And you can feel it in a, in a fraction of a second. That's how fast we're working with things. And there's things, even processes that are faster than that. So healing is light speed. We can only just get in the way. When you get out of the way, it just happens at the speed that it happens at. There's nobody that's healing faster or slower, or there's just healing. And then there's choices that we have that get in the way of that, that make it look like healing doesn't occur, never finishes, or um, something's wrong with us. Not anything wrong with the body per se, but our choices in our life. Um, no different than if I were to, you know, uh, even my hands burning off last year, the skin on my hands, I had scabs. If I were to pick those scabs and scrub those scabs because I was afraid that those scabs were illness and the scabs need to be fixed, just like people get things cut out to get fixed or trimmed off to get fixed, scar tissue and bone spurs and tumors and <clears throat> all these things. Well, if I treated those scabs as, as that level, that diminished, warped, perverted level of healing, well, oh no, that's not healing, what's gonna happen? I'm going to have fresh skin that's not ready to receive what's coming out in the world, what's around me in the world. There's no barrier, so body's going to make another one. Is there anything wrong with me that it keeps making scabs? No, I just keep picking them. So there it is. There's no more. I'm trying to get you all to understand and anybody I work with one-on-one -on -one to understand, there is no more serious or less serious a scenario. And that's why, again, I've had somebody say, you talk about my shin splints like they're cancer. There is no difference. Zero in what the body is trying to get you to understand. And there's no difference in what you're gonna go into and check in your life and be honest about and change. Um, and that's where the work lies. But the first step is acknowledging that there is no exceptions to body healing. That's all it does. And there is no um, more serious or less serious. Uh, a rupture of an Achilles or chronic calf tightness or chronic muscle pulls of the calf or the Achilles or soleus. Same. I'm going to approach them the same. And people who have reached out and they, they do it all the time, they'll be like, I don't really have any injuries per se because they think I only work with injuries. I didn't want to start with you because I don't really have any injuries. But <clears throat> and then when you talk to them more and you break down things more, there's a lot laying there because we all have these. Why would we have these? Because the body's in constant, constant conversation with us to let us know how we're doing. And it could be anything from a 22-hour drive. Would it make sense that my hips would be tight, my back would be sore, and my butt would be numb after a 22-hour drive? Possibly. Should that stay there for the next two months? I don't think so. Should it be gone within the next four minutes after getting out of the car to less? Depending on the preparation of the person, for sure. For me, absolutely. That's my expectation because that's how I live. <clears throat> there is a way to live and then within that is the infinite of our choices um, of our personal approach to that way of life but there is a way of life and there are rules and there are rules within the individual there are rules that are universal so um, a tumor to acid reflux is no no any more serious or less serious uh, uh, herniation uh, sequestration or whatever the fancy words are um, at multiple segments in your spine is no any more serious um, or less serious than, you know, uh, weakness, just general weakness that you've noticed over time. They're both right there coming from the same pool for you. So 
Happy 2024. Here's the first video coming up on 15 minutes. I'm going to stop it. Let's tear this year apart.